Psychological thrillers are a complex subgenre. Where the thriller lacks iconography to define itself, the psychological thriller is rampant with examples, especially in those tied to the convention of identity crisis. The use of doppelgangers, hallucinations and amnesia provide a means to explore our psychology through film. Films from Hitchcock pioneered the genre in the early 30s, with The Lodger, followed by the likes of Bergman's Persona and Cronenberg's Dead Ringers. However, it didn't gain traction with mass audiences until the 90s, the likes of Psycho, Fight Club and The Sixth Sense propelling the genre to mass popularity. These early adaptations of the genre followed on from the themes of crime and serial killer hunts, as well as the supernatural, expanding on the well-established ideas of a thriller, but with an added psychological twist. Placing the question of, what if this was to happen to you, in the audience's mind? Although, including supernatural factors at times, this period was heavily rooted in reality, commonly telling the story from an outside perspective and providing little detail to the subconscious internal struggle. After the turn of the millennium, psychological thrillers began to take a turn in style, much as Cronenberg did in the late 80s, establishing a more introspective view with the likes of Memento, Mulholland Drive and The Machinist. The latter, a story of Trevor Resnick, an insomniac machine worker who is seemingly losing control of his life. Clues are left throughout the film, such as his co-workers proclaiming he has changed, a random post-it note on his fridge, and a strange man named Ivan. In essence, the film is one big foreshadowing to a past hit and run event, summed up perfectly by his trip down. Ivan exists as a direct metaphor of Trevor's guilt, a doppelganger with the added complexity that they don't look alike. Similar to other films of this decade such as Christopher Nolan's Memento, both are situated in reality and the use of amnesia and hallucinations serving either as plot devices or to portray a character's mental state. The exploration of memory loss extends the neo-noir identity crisis into the contemporary world, allowing for the genre to continue to remain popular as the industry evolves. Further progressing upon these films with the likes of Black Swan, Shutter Island, Midsummer, Split and Enemy, the industry continues to explore mental health and the convention of identity crisis in further detail. Enemy in particular is fascinating with its use of doppelganger hallucination to convey the internal struggle of the subconscious. Enemy is the story of a man struggling with his subconscious as he battles his deep set fear of commitment. The lines between the real and subconscious are heavily blurred, subtly represented in the poster with Jake Gyllenhaal's mind exploding with images of the city. It explores dual personalities that on a physical level seem to be the same, while being psychological opposites. Chaos and order, shyness and confidence, routine and unpredictableness. The audience is taken into what Gyllenhaal described as his anxiety, his questioning, the feelings that we have inside ourselves when we're faced with who we really are and who we perceive ourselves to be. There seems to be a shift in identity crisis, psychological thrillers, to that of internal depictions of mental health, set in reality. This brief look at the genre is by no means substantial enough to say for certain this is true and require a more detailed approach, incorporating a multitude of films across each decade to accurately track the genre's development. This shift in the subgenre of psychological thrillers may have largely stemmed from a greater understanding of mental health in modern society, along with a desire for perhaps more relatable characters. As genres change over time and their audiences become more aware, genres progress in their opacity. As Neil said, from straightforward storytelling to self-conscious formalism. Genres are constantly evolving as their corpses are expanded and audiences taste shift. Success is never guaranteed, and only temporary, if that, as they lose their power through reproduction. Perhaps soon we will see yet another shift.